Hey guys, I hope you're all doing well and welcome to a new video of mine. This is a new how to style episode. In this video, I'm going to show you how I style the white button up shirt or blouse. First of all, I want to say thank you all for your lovely feedback on my previous first episode of my how to style series. If you haven't watched that video, I definitely recommend checking it out because it's my how to style basics for fall video. I'll link it down below. Today I have four different outfits with two different white blouses or button up shirts. The first blouse that I'm going to show you is this one. I got this I think a week ago, so very recently. It's from weekday um, and I love the material of it. It's a cotton material but it's still very soft and it doesn't look cheap at all. It's not see-through. I usually button this blouse up to the top because I think it looks, I don't know, just a little bit more clean. In the first outfit, I wore that blouse paired with these jeans. These jeans are from River Island and I got them in the same shopping spree as that blouse. These are a pair of kind of girlfriend slash mom jeans, I would say. It has some rips, but... I don't think it's too crazy and the reason why I got this pair is because my previous pair from Bershka that I loved it was more of an original girlfriend jean it was just too ripped because I always get my feet stuck in the hole whenever I'm in a hurry thumbs up this video if that also happens to you it sucks my favorite way to combine blue denim is with leopard I feel like leopard is a very tricky but still also classy print at the same time for outfit number two, I went for the same white blouse, but I wanted something completely different. So I styled it with this vest. It's a very long vest, very versatile. You can wear it like open over summery outfits or wintry outfits. But what I did in this outfit is that I wore it closed and it looked like a dress. So these are the overknee boots I combined the outfit with. Um, I got these ones at Zara in Nice. I think they're stunning. They have this kind of very classy feel. I feel like over the knee boots can look very sexy, kind of trashy sometimes, but these ones look super classy. That's just because the nose is very nice. It's kind of uh, squared and the heel is not too high, but it's definitely also not too low. So for the next two outfits, I styled this white blouse. This white blouse is from Zara. This blouse is way more fitted than the other blouse. The other blouse was very oversized and this this one is almost tight fitting. Uh, this one has two pockets uh, on both the sides and it also has some detailing on the shoulder and I think that looks just very flattering and it makes a very basic white blouse look just a little bit more interesting. So I paired this white blouse with the leather joggers I'm wearing right now. Sorry, I can't really show you them very properly, but you would see it in the lookbook part of this video. So I wore these H&M uh, leather and I paired them with some heels that you will see in the video as well. Also, to make it a little bit more classy, I added this trench coat from Zara. I have a lot of items from Zara, I just realized. Uh, I got this one in the spring, but it's a little bit thicker so you can still wear it uh, during the fall as well and for the last pairing with this white blouse I decided to pair a white blouse with some cigarette pants without it looking too formal because I feel like a lot of people think that the white blouse looks very formal especially paired with some cigarette pants but I wanted to show you that it doesn't have to be formal at all so I wore these pants, these cigarette pants from Zara, they're new season as well and I love them because these uh, pants are perfect for petite girls because these pants fit very like casual and loose on me and I pair them with a pair of loafers. I love loafers because I think they're just a little bit more of a trendy and cool way to wear flats and because they have a pointed toe they make you look longer as well. Those were all the outfits, and now it's time for the lookbook part. How I lost myself again, but I remember you. Don't come back, it won't end well, but I wish you'd tell me to. Our love is six feet under I can't help but wonder If our grave was watered by the rain Would roses bloom?
I think these outfits turned out very differently and that was definitely the look I was going for. I just wanted to show you that a white blouse can be very versatile despite the fact it's kind of boring, if you know what I mean. And also I wanted to show you that a white blouse doesn't have to be formal at all. So if you like this video, please thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I really want to hit the 100,000 subscribers this year, so if you subscribe to my channel, that would be a dream come true. <laughs> um, also, let me know in the comments below what kind of clothing item you want me to style next. So, this could be I don't know, over the knee boots, a leather jacket, camel coat, I don't know. Let me know in the comments below and I'll definitely pick out uh, an item that I have in my closet. And I will definitely pick out the idea that got like the most uh, thumbs up or um, I saw a couple of times and I have. So, yeah, I don't have anything else to say. Have a fucking amazing day, and I'll talk to you later. Bye, guys.